as the European Union and Britain battle to mitigate what is dubbed as the energy war with Russia, energy prices are skyrocketing, making Europe sweat and pushing Britain towards a risk of recession. On Wednesday, the European Commission is set to unveil a package of proposed emergency measures for the 27-nation bloc. But member countries are still apprehensive about imposing a cap on gas prices. The issue of putting a cap on the price of gas imports in the European Union was taken up in a meeting last week when the European Union energy ministers gathered in Brussels to unanimously find a solution to the hike in gas prices. Russia had slashed gas exports to Europe after the West imposed sanctions over its invasion of Ukraine. It used to supply around 40% of EU's gas before its invasion of Ukraine. Now that share has plummeted to 9%. Moscow's invasion has led the price of natural gas to hit record levels, throwing the EU economy into deep uncertainty. French finance minister confirmed that the new caps on energy prices would protect the consumers, but that the state budget would not be able to solely take up the burden. Meanwhile, as European Commission drafts the next series of EU measures, Norway, which has recently replaced Russia as Europe's leading supplier of natural gas, warned against gas caps, even though majority of EU members are proposing it. Now, in a statement, Norwegian Prime Minister Jonas Gar Stora said, and I'm quoting, We approach discussions in an open spirit. But we are skeptical of a maximum gas price. A maximum price does not change the fundamental issue that there is a gas shortage in Europe. End of quote. Non-EU member Norway, which has benefited from soaring prices following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, has until now kept a low profile on the issue, preferring instead to leave it up to oil and gas companies to negotiate their own contracts. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.